Today, we're gonna be making a drop similar to one in Volax tune, Everyone, coming at you. Yo, yo, it's Thomas Anthony from finishbettermusic.com, where we believe great producers are born, they're trained. Now, every week on this channel, I upload a new tutorial where I show you exactly how to create music similar to popular artists. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Today, we're gonna be recreating the drop similar to the one in Volax tune, Everyone. I've been really digging Volax since the early days of the Volacast. I just love their sexy, high energy, housey vibes. In this video, you're gonna learn exactly how to create the bass from scratch using Serum, and then we'll dive into the bass pattern, and then the lead sound, and then recreate the drop from start to finish. I make these videos so that I can show you the why behind why I do things, so that hopefully you can apply some of these strategies to your own songs. Now, there's a link in the description below to download the Ableton project file, along with the Serum bass presets. There's also a link down below for a free Finish Better Music sample packs, project files, and PDF guides, one of them being our release ready checklist. And this thing details the three most important things to get right before releasing your music. Now, if you do want to go deeper with me, consider checking out our music mentoring program at finishbettermusic.com. We've helped our students finish music that's gained hundreds of thousands of streams, been supported by artists such as Tiesto, Chammy, and Marshmallow, and been signed to major labels such as Confessions, Monster Cat, and Revealed Recordings. Now, there's a link down in the description below where you can check out exactly what the program consists of, what our students have accomplished, and how to apply for a free feedback and strategy session. On that session, we meet for one hour via Zoom, and we take a look at one of your tracks, give you solid feedback on it, and a plan for how to take your music to the next level. And from there, we can decide whether to work together or not. So again, the link is down in the description below. Okay, let's get into the song, baby. Okay, so first off, let's look at this track overall. First thing is first, is that, like we, again, like I've said with Mala and some other of the big name heavy hitters, Volak is a pretty established artist. He's been, or they have been, uh, the two guys, have been releasing tunes for a while now. And right now, they are definitely more focused on like the vibe of things. And that's what really makes this song pop off so well. It's got, it's got a good groovy bass line, but it's basically just a pretty generic formula for tech house or, or like bass house or whatever it is. So like it, it's got the groovy bass line. I'm not saying there wasn't lots of detail put into this, but I'm just saying it's a very simple bass line, uh, good catchy vocals on top. And the main thing that to take away from this track and songs like this <clears throat> is the f like how it makes you feel and how it the, just the groove of the track and how it makes your body move and this is straight just like a dance floor um it hit basically and they just have like straight build-ups and then drops and build up and drop and build up and drop so like if we just listen to this the first initial bit <laughs> That vocal is obviously really, really solid. Everyone just move your feet. Super simple. People can lock onto it. They can engage with it right away. They can begin to start singing it um, because it's so simple and repetitive. And literally, that's the whole bass line. And then here, it kind of like adds some, just bring back in some of the vocal stabs. And then I have this over here. So this is the last drop when I just dragged it into here because this is probably the part that's most interesting that we're going to be working on is, again, like it just build up, drop, build up, drop. And then finally, there's like a synth over top of the drop. And then they kind of bring in the, the vocals. Now, again, this is well constructed. The sounds sound really, really solid. And overall, it's it's a really well mixed track. Um, so that's why it's it's doing so well. Uh, and it's really some musical freedom, which is also uh, a bonus. So we're going to be focusing on the second drop here like this. But again, it's good to just start with the first drop so that you can uh, dial in what's going on. So honestly, just listening to the first drop, there is only kick, bass, and uh, hi-hats. And I have this kick. Simple floor to the four to the floor kick. Now another thing to note that this is in D minor, so it's a really low bass note. So that is going to be something to be aware of. So seven A is D minor. So I found a kick. It's actually not in D. It's in G, but G is in the key, so that works. Uh, and then the claps, just that clap with that one, makes it nice and fat. Hi hats, just a simple, simple hi hat loop. 
Now I know this hi-hat isn't the same as this one. So if I, I've just made this really quickly. So if I was really dialing stuff in, I probably would pick, take my time choosing a good like open hat or closed hat, just depending on what's going on. I'm not gonna, that's the basic drums. I'm not gonna go too much into detail there, uh, but let's get right into the bass. Now I've already made this bass uh, pattern, but what I am going to do is duplicate this and start, oops, not duplicate this. I'm just gonna start it from scratch to show you exactly how I go about doing these things. So first things first, I would bring over into here, just my little MIDI note thing that I guess they're getting rid of in Ableton 11, is it 11? Yeah, so I'm just gonna bring this down to D. So everything is in the key, boom, 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 all right. And then from there, this is where it's like, I, I don't even bring a synth in at first because I wanna just dial in this the, the, the rhythm here first. So I'm guessing because this is in D, the root note is gonna be D. So I'm literally looking at the waveforms here and I see, I can listen to their track and be like, oops. Let's collapse this, there we go. So I'm just looking at this top one and I can see right there, there is another bass sound right there. Bump. And then there's the clap and then there sounds like doo 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 doo. It sounds like, and then it, it, there's nothing there, but it goes da da. So this guy hit me up on Tinder last night, and the first thing I did was check out his SoundCloud. Ugh, not another shitty producer. <sighs> yep, you guessed it. His mixes were so unbalanced and weak. Gross. He probably learned everything on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Such a turnoff. Yeah, he had no idea how to compress his drums either. I just wish more guys knew what they were doing in the studio. Right? Guys who know exactly how much distortion to use, oh, it turns me on so much. Oh, it gets so wet when a guy can make a song that can keep me interested all the way to the end. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, yes, there's nothing hotter than an interesting song and a mix that sounds good on every system. And there's one longer one there. Dun, 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 dun. And then over here, we can also see it. There. So it goes, duh, and we can see that there. And then, duh, duh, dun, 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 dun. And then that's pretty much the exact same thing. It's just the same. Same thing over and over again. So first off, I'm gonna dial this in. So now that I have like the rhythm here, I am going to dial that in. So I like making things in a serum. So we'll go over to serum here with an, I just, I'm also just gonna change this color over here so that it gets in there. Um, and so we're gonna start off with the sub. I like use, I, you can honestly use whatever. I, I was using, um, I was using a triangle for this, have a direct out so it's not being affected by this other stuff. Uh, we're going to put on these oscillators. First of all, we're going to drop the sub down three octaves. Uh, and we're going to drop this down three octaves. And again, it's just a basic saw shape wave. And this one down three octaves. So right now we have this. And I actually wrote the MIDI notes to... And this is, I just have this pitches up and pitches down just so that um, I can quickly go up and down in my pitches. And I'm just going to loop this section because that's basically the whole thing. So now it's, it's low like that, but we want to get it to the pluckiness. So again, I'm going to put this filter. I'm going to drop it down to the filter, uh, the low 23. And because we want to affect this filter, uh, I'm going to use this envelope and I'm going to bring it over here to this filter and kind of mess around with some of these parameters. So typically for a pluck shape, it would be like this. This is typically the shape for a, like a pluck th thing. So if it's like this, it means it's just going straight. But I want to give it a little bit of body in there. Yeah. 
Now I do want this to be a little bit wider, so I'm going to take the phase of this. And another thing we can do here is mess with the fine pitch right here. So like, really you could just dial it into ear. I had it at 16 before and I think I had this one at like 20 or something like that. Kind of mess with the fat there. And honestly, from there, I really just went on to into here. It just puts, give us some distortion. And I had it with, uh, I just had the mix knob. I gave it quite a bit of distortion and then a little bit of compression just to kind of just dial in. We wanted to shave off the uh honestly just compressing it a little bit and then maybe giving it a little bit of eq and we'll just cut off some of not not cutting off some of the lows bring that q down just want to roll some of those lows off of there they can leave all those the same Yeah, keep that around 20. That, and then I'm going to give it a little bit of drive here. Probably put it on a soft sign. And then if we listen to this with the actual bass. Oops. Good to... And this is where it's a good idea to start looking. This is where we can dial, really dial in the, um, uh, the envelope here. Now, that's a basic that's a basic pattern but there's no melody within here. So, what we can do is basically what I was doing was I looking at the original song and we don't want to do it exactly like the original because this is where like once you get the rhythm, you don't want to change take, take their melody, but if you did want to do that, you could just look on here and you could just see like where these peaks are. So I can see that there's a peak at C sharp, there's a peak at F. Um, there's also a peak at A. So I was just messing around with stuff and I pretty much just went, I kept this up there, I put this up to F. Now I liked that personally because I thought that it uh, it resolved a little bit better. I, again, it, I, this is where like making when you're making your own song and not copying someone else's, it comes into play. Because honestly, I was messing around with this too, and I thought that using some of the notes with the outside of the scale sounded pretty good, like this. Gave a little bit more tension in there, um, but again, that's just dialing stuff into taste. Um, and I think this sounds really good right now. Yeah, see like overall, I think this sounds a little bit better with that note there. Just sounds a little... And then maybe that there.
And then again, it's just honestly just dialing these things into taste, messing around with other stuff. Again, even switching things out, like you could have something like there. Like it honestly doesn't have to be anything like theirs. It could be just really whatever you want. And then from there, uh, so that's basically how you make the bass. And then from there, when we get into the melody, before we get into the melody, if you're having trouble making music and you do want uh, to uh, take your music to the next level or you just don't know what to do next, um, you can head over to finishbettermusic.com and we can, in our mentoring program, basically you can check out what it's all about and you can also go over for a free feedback and strategy session. So just fill out all this information. This gives us all the information that we need to know so that we can uh, help you the best and see exactly where your situation is, uh, where you're at right now and where you want to be in the future. And we can take a free look at one of your tracks, give you some detailed feedback on it and then uh, give you a plan of how to get it to the next level. And then you can choose together to work with us or not. And again, we don't accept everybody into the program. This is more of like a not super beginner but intermediate to advanced program because again like uh, like i just love working with uh, like intermediate producers so if you finished a song if you know how to finish like a, a a song but it's just not quite there definitely hit us up and then if you would like there's also some free stuff on our um uh just up for grabs so there's breakdown projects sample packs and this guide is really really solid it tells you everything in detail to, to do before release your music and just just for some like street cred this is one of our students i just released a track with him a little bit ago it has over eighty thousand plays on spotify but he also just released his first song on release radar and he's such a good student in the mentoring program and he's doing so well i just want to highlight how awesome he's doing uh he's got some really amazing releases coming out so check out this dude uh his name's Kral, and he is uh a little badass and also follow me on instagram over here i have all my releases and my stuff coming out then more information about some tutorials and then some just really really useful um questions and answers and tips i have on my instagram so if you have any questions always feel free to hit me up because i respond to all my dms so go over finish it's tom anthony sorry not finish go over and add me follow me on instagram at it's tom anthony and hit me up if you have any questions and i'll try i usually voice message people back so i can get back to you uh, as soon as possible and yeah like my new tune like this one that just came out has now it has one hundred and twenty thousand, but it had it just um on friday i had eighty two thousand, which is crazy <laughs> so uh, definitely go check that out it's been supported by volac and showtech and rehab and all these badasses so uh definitely go and check that out if you're interested in hearing some of my music so you've resonated with it if you like the style of mixing that i do that's exactly what i teach in the mentoring program is exactly how to make uh just a quality music just like mine and we've helped so many of our students just release music on Dimac and uh, Confessions and um, Release Radar and not Release Radar Reveal Recordings <laughs> uh, just like Kral and just people have had some really good successes you, again you can check out a big thing I'm super proud of is what our students have to say about the program that you can hit up any of these people ask how the program how it helped them and what they did with it um, again we're super transparent with everything so don't go over and check that out if that's something you're interested in. Okay, let's get back to the melody. Okay, so the final thing to add all these pieces together, because this sounds good, but we would like to fill out, or at least I would fill out some of these top frequencies. Now, this is just a simple dimple. Um, uh, it's just a, the, the root note, D, and then at the end of the root note, I have it going, pitching up. And to f mess with that pickup, I have it in here with the a saturator and an EQ. And again, if you want to download this project, you won't be able to download this this specific sound, but I'll have an audio version of this sound because this is from Excellent Sounds. Go over and grab their pack. It's called the Circus Freaks 1. And basically, it's just a simple uh, basic shape. It's a saw wave. And I have some reverb going on it. And in this area, I just messed with the patch. So initially, it sounded like this. And we can see the pitch bend is going up to 12, uh, up an octave or 12 semitones towards the end there. But what I did, I just turned chorus on and I just like that effect. It made it a little bit wider. So as this is going up, the rate of it, if I really dial in the mix of it. And it just gives it like really nice wide approach. And then on my re return tracks, I have a reverb on there to give it some just like some depth, uh, I suppose. And uh, that's again, something we also show in the 
a mentor program. So if you'd like to download this project, you can, uh, I'll have everything linked in the description below. Um, and again, it sounds like this towards the end. So as we finish, So it sounded pretty, pretty super tight. <laughs> uh, so yeah, again, I'll have this whole project down in the description below. You can download it. Uh, hit us up again on finishbettermusic.com. If you have any questions about anything or Instagram, uh, hit me up and I will get back to you and definitely go over, check over out our free stuff and our mentoring program. Um, Cause it, it is, this is definitely the quickest way to success. There's no shortcuts in music production. The quickest way to learn anything is to have something taught to you get detailed feedback on your work that you do and keep making progress as you continue. All right, until next week, peace.